Hey, Stewie. Oh, hey, Bri. Guess who woke up to a red dawn? <laughs> Bugs in the ear, pink eye, and hiccups that just won't go away. Today, we are reacting to the hilarious medical scenes and injuries from Family Guy 11. Will there be medical misinformation? Most likely, but I'm sure it'll make us laugh. Let's dive right in. Dewey, what's going on? Aren't you supposed to be at daycare? What the heck? I escaped. They're appearing to show a shoulder dislocation. They're very painful because the muscles are spasmed around it, yanking it up into an area that is not into the joint. A lot of times we'll actually have to use medications to help augment the body to relax to be able to put it back in. What happened to your arm? I finally stood up for all of us and told Miss Emily we should be given a proper lunch and not just what's left over from her Baja Fresh. And she said I shouldn't raise my voice and pulled me really hard into the other room and my arm came out of its socket. Oh, no. Actually, super common for a specific age group where you can actually have something called a nursemaid's elbow. The radius comes out of the annular ligament of your elbow, putting it back in. Super easy and you look like a hero to the parents. I'll just pop it back in. You most certainly will not. I need to go to a hospital. Brian, is Dewey in there with you? Mom! We're in here, Lois. Oh, He's napping. Oh. Relax. I'm going to pop no. it back in. <laughs> not how you do that. There's multiple different techniques that are very gentle, not forceful, not aggressive. And once it's back in, feels much better. The only issue is you're a little bit more at risk for having another shoulder dislocation because now the ligaments are a little bit more lax and then the area. <laughs> ah, get in there. Come on. Oh. Hold still, Stewie. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Old school wise, you bite a piece of leather, a stick, endure the pain until it's over and then it's fixed. Now we can use pain medication or sometimes we can actually just do conscious sedation to knock somebody out for five minutes and put it right back in. Hey Peter, you want to earn another 10 bucks? Of course I do. Great, I got a hilarious one. I'll give you $10 for your L4 vertebrae. <laughs> Oh, man. He wants his L4 vertebrae, which is really low in your lower back. We have people that come in that have compressed force where it's squished down. They can actually inject type of polymer in there to pop it back open. But actually having donor vertebrae, you can't just put a new one in there. It doesn't work that way. They're all in the operating room. Good job. Actually, it looks quite accurate. If they're out cold like this and they're prone, they're on their stomach, they're going to have oxygen. They're going to have all these other things where the anesthesiologist is making sure that they're okay. So, uh, what? I guess this means, Peter, you're our Joe now, and Joe, you're our Peter. I know I've gotten a million comments from you guys that said that Joe didn't have a spinal cord injury that ended up in a chair. It was related to a lot of trauma and injuries to his legs. I have a request. Yay, Joe's chin. Oh my gosh, so now they swap chins. There's uh, many different procedures out there. A plastic surgeon could add different inert type of materials to make a chin larger, change the shape of it. I don't think you need to have a donor chin. Oh, he's sick. Pain relief for menstrual cramps. Pharmaceutical companies label it for menstrual cramps. They even have specific names. Typically, they're either Tylenol or ibuprofen. Hey, Stewie. Oh, hey, Bri. Guess who woke up to a red dawn? <laughs> I'm assuming the red dawn is just referring to blood. I'm having my period. It's like the shining elevator down there. My 21st century box has been conquered by Eric the Very Red. Yeah, this is getting dangerously close to a will and grace now. But if you're bleeding down there, it's clearly because you hurt yourself. I like that Brian is bringing up the fact that if he's having bleeding down there, there's something else going on. Oh, yeah? If I'm not having my period, then why am I drinking herbal tea from a large earthenware mug with no handle on it? To have menstruation, you have to have a uterus. You can't have active bleeding and menstruation with testicles and a penis at the hospital. All right, Mr. Quagmire, I understand you have the hiccups. Oh my gosh, we deal with this all the time. People come to the emergency department with hiccups that just won't go away. Main medication that we use is something called Thorazine and have had very good success. Now it says here on your chart, you've tried boo. <laughs> Outside of that, the best way to treat hiccups is through hypnosis. I guess there's an option for hypnosis. There are a lot of different techniques that you wouldn't think to do for different medical problems. When somebody has something called supraventricular tachycardia, sometimes if you just splash somebody's face with a bucket of ice, it actually can fix it. It just has to do with shocking the system. 
My mama always said that hiccups are a sign that the devil's got a hold of you. Oh my gosh. No, it is not a sign that the devil has a hold of you. A hiccup is an involuntary contraction of your diaphragm. It's spasming for some reason. There's multiple different reasons why it would spasm, but ultimately it is your diaphragm, the muscle that's causing the issue. Satan, release your grasp from this man. In the name of Christ, I exercise the infernal invader. <laughs> There's a million different wives' tales out there, home remedies. I have a fantastic remedy that is not doctor related. Put each finger in your ear, tilt your head back and have somebody pour you a glass of water and just continue to drink the water until you can't really drink it anymore. It always goes away. Lois, have you seen the pooping iPad? I can only go while watching Tiger King. Oh my gosh, the pooping iPad. Okay, we should not be bringing devices into the bathroom. Are we touching our bottoms by accident with a tissue paper that is now covered in poop and now we touch our phones? Just something to think about. But how many of you guys are actually watching this in the bathroom right now on your device? Huh? The iPad we use only while pooping and occasionally on flights for Stewie. Ew. Why are Stewie's eyes so jacked up? When you see eyeballs where the whites are red like that, we call that injected. His eyes are protruding out of his head almost as if somebody who would have hyperthyroidism. And then he's got a lot of redness around the eye, which you'd be concerned about, almost like a cellulitis. I play Elmo's ABCs on that. Is that why I keep getting pink eye? He's getting pink eye from poop. Poop typically harbors E. coli, and then you're getting E. coli in your eye. That's disgusting. Typically, there's drops, there's ointments, there's different things that you can use, and then you definitely need to see an ophthalmologist. I don't know where it is, but it's definitely not in the shed, so don't even look back there in the shed. What, you mean the earwig fortress? No thanks. The earwig fortress. Earwigs are these tiny little bugs. They crawl into people's ears in the middle of the night, and you hear it really loudly touching your tympanic membrane, aka your eardrum. I've actually had to pull many of them out of people's ear canals. Yeah, too fast and too smart for you, earwigs. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, no. You can see if you look, it's got these like hooks. So what happens is it actually hooks on in there. Definitely can cause a lot of pain, discomfort, and cause people to like freak out. So if this does happen to you, get to the hospital. We can get it out super fast because we have the tools to be able to do that. Now to continue clearing the yard collecting moisture and sleeping in wood. Uh, <laughs> no, there's not a direct connection from your external auditory canal, which is the ear canal, into your brain. Unless it like eats through the tympanic membrane, which would be very painful, and then goes through the oval window. There's a lot of different structures in the way to get inside. I love it. Family Guy is never a disappointment. There's always good medical clips for me to talk about. So I really enjoyed it. Please make sure if you love this one, check out this playlist right here. And as always, make sure you subscribe, turn those bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.